Okay, so we have a gateway board here that um, was sent in to us initially for a reflow. We reflowed it, it worked, and everything seemed perfectly fine with it. We packaged it back up, sent it to the uh, owner, and come to find out <clears throat> we received it back. Uh, was, they were stating that it would not turn on. So, they sent it to us with the uh, power switch and everything, so we'll push the power switch. Amazingly, when we push it, we don't get any fans, we don't get anything to turn on. So, in a roundabout way, we went through uh, all our known failures. We went through our test points here, went through test points over here to make sure there's power. Power and all is getting across the board. But interestingly enough, we found right here um, what ends up being called D26. <clears throat> and with D26, this actually, just by touching that, we accidentally ex ex actually accidentally hit it. Um, we see that by touching it, we're getting it to um, show activity. So what we could do is, um, what we're noticing, and what we do, is we take it, put it here, and hold it uh, like you would, say, a power button for 10 or 15 seconds and then touch it and it'll turn the system on we get fans and we're actually getting a turned on system the way we can tell is we're actually getting heat off of the units we're getting heat here but we're not getting video so we know that uh, this is just a um, what we're doing is actually bypassing the power button by shorting this component out and by shorting this component out and grounding it and draining it or sourcing it from either side <coughs> we're seeing that this will turn the system on um, so we'll refer to the schematics and find that the schematics label this is a BA chip and BA chip is uh, nothing more than a uh, controller chip that does power on off function on the board so what we're seeing is the power button's pressed signal is sent to this chip and this chip turns on <coughs> the board so that's where we're at with this we need to take and find another chip and see if we can't replace it out and then get video uh, we have video once, now uh, we don't have video, but we have a damaged chip, so we'll have to go from there and see what we can find. Okay, just for the purposes of uh, demonstrating again, I, I don't think I did it earlier. We got the fan to turn on just a little bit, so what we're going to do is um, touch this like we did. And we have the fan spin, then it stops, then it starts up again, then it'll stop for a second, and then we have it actually turn it on. So, what we have here, and that fan will stay running like that. So what we have, it appears, even though we have no video on the screen, we have memory here. Uh, for some reason this won't sync with the external um, even if the cables plugged in it's saying connection uh, cable not connected but we have the fan turning like this and we can come over here while the fans running and touch this position here on this pole and we held it for 10 seconds like we normally do with a
power button, it turns off. Then we touch it, and it turns right back on. There we are. So, we know that we have uh, an on-off issue with the power button linked to the uh, module here. We know that our uh, system's booting, so we know that the uh, the and it is getting warm. We do realize that the uh, the reflow took, and we have a system that's actually uh, doing what it's supposed to do, turning on, and everything's going there. Why it's not syncing with the video? That may be an issue that's linked to the uh, function here of this turning on and turning off uh, the way it is but most likely um, we have a working system from the time before it's just that we had a, another failure and another fault uh, right there which is something that we need to address and take care of and see if we can't fix it so now we need to go to the schematics see if we got a scrap board that has a chip on it like that and see if we can't uh, replace that chip out with another one and see what we can do to get it fixed.